guys welcome back let's do another video i'm pretty excited to do this one tonight so anyway i pulled up a race from 1986 uh this is from the u.s nationals in bakersfield this one's kind of cool for me because i actually was at this race but this looks like sunday's race <laughs> where it was not raining on saturday my cousin and i were racing and it was a mud fest i mean i it was horrible but we both got thirds i still have the trophy uh, but anyway, let's roll this one. And this one we got, uh, from what I can tell anyway, I know Greg Hill's in there. He's on Robinson. See, uh, we got Charles Townsend. He was on CW. Sean Texas looks like he was an independent rider at that time. John Anderson looks like he's in there on CW. I see Travis Chipper is in there on Mongoose. And I, it could be, it's either Travis or it could be Eric, but I think it's Travis. Looks like uh, Ronnie Anderson is in there for Hardee's. And I see a Moby Dick rider. That was a... Uh, bike shop in the bay area i don't know if i'm missing somebody because it's a little hard to see but anyway let's roll this one this is a pretty good race here we go looks like charles has got the lead but greg's got the inside line so he's going to take it from charles they are running pretty even you can see uh charlie's trying to set him up he's tra charles trying to set him up he's going in and out in and out in and out this is the last ditch effort, but Greg is just holding his line. Looks good. Greg's got this one all the way. Ooh, Sean now banging into Charles, and that's how they finish. So that's a good one. All right, that was a good warm-up, guys. Let's go to another. We're still at the same race. We're still in Bakersfield, U.S. Nationals, 86. Uh, this time I'm going to look at 16 Expert because there's a really good battle uh, between Dean LeBerg, Kenny May, and Darwin Griffin. Uh, Dean looks like he was riding for Hardee's, and Kenny May was on free agent. Kenny was really big at the time, and then Darwin Griffin was on boss, and Darwin was just brutally a fast guy. Anyway, let's uh, let's roll this one. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. 16 expert. Dean's got the snap. Going through the first turn. I crashed right there, by the way. Here comes Kenny. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Hayden. Excuse me. Matt Hayden. I'm sorry, guys. So Matt Hayden's in second. Now watch Darwin. He's on boss. He's in third. Watch this movie pulls. Boom. Got him. But Dean got that one. Good race. Experts, let's roll. I see Eric Carter right there. Eric on CW. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that boss rider's gone. Oh, here we go. Oh, Cecil Johns did that. Bakersfield, still 1986. All right, so this is going to be A Pro. So this one's interesting because you got Kevin Hall in here on GT. And Billy Griggs is on red line. So these guys are about to make that jump uh, to double A. And they have a little bit of a battle here. This is a good one. Let's check this one out. Here we go. Kevin's got the snap. You can see Billy's on the outside. Here we go. Cole's holding him off. Billy's looking on that inside. Oh, Kevin's just a little bit too fast today. I think Hull's going to take this one home. All Kevin. That was a good one. Let's move on, guys. Next, The next one. This is going to be the double A main. And uh, it's still Hill. Hill was looking really good this day. He was, uh, we already seen him catch one ace. And Charles Townsend was right there with him. They're running really even. But Hill's got kind of the eye of the tiger <laughs> today. So let's check this one out. Here we go. Gate drops. Here we go. Hill just gets out quick. So Hill's got the snap. Charles is right there with him. Look at that. It's like a duplicate race. They're neck and neck. Hill's just on a mission today. He's looking so good. We're coming to the last turn. Oh, we lost Charles back there. Abrams is going to take second. Look at Hill. Locked it up. Good race, Greg. That was a great one for this race. This is a U.S. 
USBA Amateur BMX World Championships. This is in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've seen this race before. I've got some footage on this race, uh, so I found some more videos on it. These are more of kind of the amateur races, but uh, there's some really good racing. This is a very short, tight track. This one's going to be a 15-16 cruiser, and we got Darwin Griffin and Billy Griggs going to work on this one. It looks like Darwin's racing for Blue Max at the time, and Billy is going to throw him a move uh, at in the last straight that's pretty epic. So let, let's roll this one. With the next stanza, the 15 16 cruiser, and Dean, you tell me this is a hot race, huh? This is a great race. Now keep an eye on the two riders in the middle of the gate. Number one, B, Billy Griggs, has been going extremely well. <laughs> Interesting to see Billy two, and Darwin are both in jeans. <laughs> I don't know what happened that day. There's Darwin. Oh, Blue Max. He's on Blue Max. Okay. Let's roll. I think Darwin's got the pop. Yeah, Darwin's definitely got the snap. Look at Billy. This is going to be awesome. Darwin's so strong. Billy's just being patient. Here he comes, here he comes. Poof, right on the inside. Watch this move. Oh, got him. That was awesome. <laughs> that was a great one. All right, let's go to the next. This USBA uh, championship in Las Vegas. This one's actually pretty cool. Now, this is 11-12 open. And the reason I'm going to run this is because there's a rider in here by the name of Aaron Sally. He's on uh, CW. He just looks great in this race. I really like his racing style. And then Derek Garcia, he was he's in there too. Now Derek was kind of a superstar himself. He was in all the magazines at the time. Uh, but this is a great race. Check this one out. What a name, Obama. But don't discount Derek Garcia, number 190. He's right there beside J.D. Finney. This is going to be an outstanding race, one of the most competitive of the day. Here we go. I'm taking Derek Garcia. I remember that name. Right. Here we go. Now look at Aaron Sally, CW rider. What a snap. Garcia falls in behind him now. Garcia is a smaller rider than Sally, so he's at a bit of a, a power disadvantage. But watch him. He's a very smooth I don't think he's going to catch him. I remember that. Well, it's going to be tough to beat Sally. I wonder what happened to this kid because, man, he looked good. He sure is now. He's got him. Well, Sally got that one. That was a great ride. I just really like that one. Let's move on to another one. Looking at 14 experts now. Sean Callahan's in there. He's kind of the favorite rider. He's factory boss. Uh, but the guy that really, really impresses me in this race, he's a Patterson rider, uh, and it's David Bentley. Uh, and he is just very strong and very fast. And it's hard to believe he's 14 years old. <laughs> and then Danny Milwee is in there on power light. So this one's going to be a good one. All right, let's roll it. Name of the game. Okay, Here we go. Down the hill. Gene, you call it now. Great Look at Bentley's on the outside. He's wearing a blue jacket, but he's on Patterson. Look at that. He is just rolling. Danny Milwee's going to try to make a move, but Bentley is just gone. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Bentley. That was a great ride. Great ride. Let's go to the next one. We'll just keep going. We're going to roll with the 15 experts. I just watched this moto, or this main, excuse me, and uh, Darwin Griffin and Jim Mackey are going to go at it. Darwin uh, got second in cruiser already, so he's looking really strong. Billy got him at the end, uh, but let's see how he does in class. Here we go. 16 and 17 year old experts. These guys are all aspiring pros, and uh, it's going to be a very, very competitive race. Keep an eye on number 1B. And Looks like Mackey's running on champion. Now watch Griffin has got an early lead, and he pulls what is called the whole shot, and he is gone. Oh, Darwin is a kid to be. He wants Darwin's to flying. For the world championship. That's right. Now, number 8 is Jim Mackey. Now, watch Mackey. Yeah. Mackey goes into a bit of a break slide. He almost had no. Griffin there. No. <laughs> like it's not going to happen. Mackey's looking good though. He's not going to give up an inch to. It's all Darwin. Got it. Good ride, Darwin. That was an excellent one. Let's go to the next one. In the 16 expert now. And again, I just watched this one. This man, these are all really good races. I had this I had this particular race on videotape. 
Matter of fact, I probably still do somewhere. <laughs> That's why I kind of wanted to find this one today, although I've looked at this one before. But anyway, let me get back to the topic. 16 expert this time. Now, this is a stacked gate because we got Billy Griggs in there, Brian Gass is in there, Glenn Hammond's in there, Todd Henry's in there, Jeff Donnell's in there. It's just stacked. I mean, any normal 16 expert's going to have a bad day <laughs> at this race because these guys are just all badasses. All right, let's roll. I want you to keep your eye on the four outside gates because this is at number eight, Brian Gass on the far outside. Number one next to him, Glenn Hammond. And next to him, number five, Todd Henry of Wanderers. And next to Todd is his, his teammate, teammate, Billy, Billy Griggs. Griggs. <laughs> Here we go. Keep an eye on Billy Griggs in the center of that gate. Number three. Okay, and they're off. Here we go. Down the hill, and they are moving. Look at that right Brian there. Gass has got a pop. Dean, who is that? We got Jeff Donnell in second. Yeah, that is uh, Brian Gass out in front. Now, I can't Watch right Billy. Billy's in third. He's already moving in. Boom. Bumped him. He got Jeff. Now he's going to come after uh, Brian Gass. Look how smooth he is through the quads. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here he goes. Back on the inside. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, ho, ho. Brian held on. That was a great one. Great. We run this trophy dash. This is the last one, by the way. Uh, this is pretty cool because I forgot to mention Rennie Roker is in here. And he just went into the Hall of Fame. This guy has done so much for the sport. So it's really cool to see, <laughs> to hear his voice running this type of race. I just thought it was really cool. I should mention that. Anyway, here we go. So we're in the uh, World Championship Trophy Dash. This is it. So this is the big race for the amateurs for the day. I wish Trophy Dash was still a thing. You know, I think that would be really cool if we still had Trophy Dashes. But anyway, so we got Brian Gasses in there. Todd Henry's in there on Mongoose, Rick Palmer's in there on Patterson, Robert McPherson's in there, Darwin Griffin's in there for uh, Blue Max, and then David Bentley again for Patterson. So we got two Patterson riders in this one. This race is really good. All right, let's roll it. Oops, hold on, guys. I banged onto my camera. All right, let's, <laughs> let's try that again. Mark Threads, who's 17 and over, Todd Henry, and Rick Palmer. And Dean, I'm going to let you take a look at that. Well, and Rennie, I'll tell you, this is a real tough choice on my part to pick a winner. Uh, as far as gate positions go, Todd Henry on the inside there is looking pretty good. And then Rick. Not Palmer sure who the guy is in the Skyway helmet. Sorry about he's, that, bud. He's next to Todd. And so I would watch the inside of that gate, and Robert McPherson, number one, is next to them. So I would, uh, I would be going with uh, probably the riders on the inside. Well, I'll tell you. I can remember All right, let's go, guys. Trophy dash World I should have queued this up better. Todd Sorry, guys. <laughs> Todd Henry. As a matter of fact, Todd Henry was right there in the run, and he almost got it. Rick just looks he massive compared to these guys. Because history might repeat itself again, or he might make a man. Right, now, Rennie, don't discount Brian Gass on the outside. He started in that outside position before today. So let's go. Good snap out of the gate and be gone. Okay, Rick's in the middle, but Bentley's got the snap. 14 years old. Rick passed him, though. Griffin on the outside. He's trying to set him up. He's trying to set him up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he took Brian Gass out. Oh, and Griffin went down. <laughs> the Blue Max boys were trying to get him. <laughs> that was all Rick. That was a great race. Bentley in second. That was a great ride. All right, guys, let's move on to something else. Forward a little bit now, guys. We're in 1993 now, so it's kind of a big jump, but that's okay. We're at the ABA Silver Dollar Nationals. Silver Dollar Nationals is kind of a big, de big deal for me because it was one of the few nationals that I could actually get to. Because <laughs> it was in Reno, which was only like about three and a half hours from where I lived at the time. Uh, so anyway, in this one, we're going to see uh, Pete Lonkarovich, Terry Garcia, Mike King, Charles Townsend, and uh, they're just going to all go at it. But let's drop the gate on this one. Let's see how it goes. Big guns in the gate. Round Here we go. These guys. We got Pete out front. He's in the underneath Terry. Terry's right behind him. Pete's looking strong. The net's got him. Now watch Mike. He's got his eye on Terry. Looks like uh, Mike was on red line at the time. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's going to set him up. Ooh, got him on the inside. Charles picked up, uh, looks like four. That was a good round. Let's go to the next one. Still in 1993. We're still at the Silver Dollar Nationals. And I'm going to let the uh, 
I'm gonna let the <laughs> I'm gonna actually let this roll a little bit because it just shows everybody in the main so I don't have to write it all down. It'll be a little faster too. So let's roll. Double A Pro main event goes Here we this go. way. So we got Pete in there, Pro, Charles. Pete, the Amtrak, Charles Townsend. Brian Lopes Brian, is in there. Brian Lopes, the mongoose rider. Mr. T. Terry Tanet. Let's go, Terry. Brian Foster. Brian Foster doing it for the Flying Foster Brothers. Billy and Griggs. Sponsor, Mr. Billy Griggs looking for a sponsor. Mike King. Mikey King. Double A Pro main event's going to be a good one. And the Rooster, Brian Rooster. Let's go, Brian. Now. And they're in the game. Round one, let's go. No takeaway, Scott. It comes down in a hurry, and here they come to net. Terry's got a he, Terry gets a good snap. He keeps getting under him though. Let's go, Charles. Get in there. Ooh. Terry bumped him. Terry bumped Charles out of position. It's all Pete on this one. And looks like Terry's got second. Good round. Let's go to the next one. Roll the pro open. I thought this one was pretty good. Charles looks really good in this one, by the way. Let's go. Everybody, the chance there for the we go. And the AA pros to race Charles together. got the snap. The dash for the cash and the looks on the like he's got Gary and right behind him. It is Townsend and the lumberjack. It's all is Charles right now. I think Billy Griggs is in third. It looks like Billy was in between sponsors. I'm almost 90% sure he went to Haro after this. It's all Charles, though. Good run, man. Good run. We took the firm, took one and two. I thought this was kind of interesting, guys. Let's just take a look. So this is after two rounds of racing. So if you look at the bottom of the list, that's where the top riders are instead of the top. They have it kind of backwards. But if you look, Pete's only got two because he's got two aces, so he's definitely in the best position to win. Terry's taking a second and a third, so he's got five points. He's second overall. Mike King with fourth and a second. He's he's sitting third. So those are your top three right there. And Brian Foster's looking pretty good. He's only got eight, so he's not that far off. And either's Charles Townsend with nine. So it could be really... I think the fight in this one's going to be more for second because it looks like Pete's kind of got this locked up. But let's let's run the main and see how it goes. Guys, you're not going to believe this, but <laughs> that third main in Reno was not in the video, and I couldn't find it. So that's the magic of pulling races off YouTube. <laughs> let's just assume Pete won it because he was looking good. Anyway, so now we're going to go back. We're at the World Cup of BMX in 1988. Uh, this is actually the 18 expert uh, main, and we, you can't see all the names. I'm sorry, it's kind of cut off, but we have Bill Sweet in there, uh, Shane Wimberly. It looks like Tommy. I can't pronounce his last name. I'm going to do my best I can. It's Kota Jetski. Uh, we got Ron Walker in there, Roger Linden, Terry Tanette, Cecil Johns, and Jeff Donnell. And this is a good one. Uh, Terry's running on CW on this on this one. I'm sorry, Terry's running on GT on this one. Cecil Johns is on Boss, I believe. Uh, Terry looks really good in this race. Let's check this one out. Here we go. Danell's got the pop, but look at Danell's got it, but watch Terry. Watch Terry. Ooh, right on the inside. Look at Tanet. He is just killing. The power wheelie. Cecil went down. It's all Terry. Looking over the shoulder. Factory GT. Looking good, Terry. Jeff Nell's on free agent. And that's a wrap for that one. That was a great round. The cool thing about that is you just saw Terry win this. And I just seen this guy uh, win the Pro-Am at the Frogtown race uh, a couple months ago. And he was beating guys that were younger than him. And there was, yeah, there were some older AA pros in there too. But uh, his riding style is exactly the same. He has not stepped away from his formula of riding. Because if you watch Terry ride now and you just watch this video, it looks the same. The guy's still in excellent shape. It's just it's just a joy to watch this guy ride. Anyway, let's go to the next one. At the 88 World Cup. This is an NBL race because you can see it says A Pro and they called it A Pro and NBL, double A and ABA, but it's the same thing. We got this is a pro semi though. Malin Abrams is in there, Dennis Balch, 
uh, Todd Blazers in there, Gary Ellis, Pete Lockerbridge, and Charles Townsend. So let's let's roll this one, see how it goes. After four positions for the biggest pro purse ever in BMX history. Well, you know, I saw Malin Abrams. I thought he broke a pedal shaft. And, uh, here we go. They slipped him in here. Looks like he's got back on it. Ellis Pete on the looks good. Outside, you know, the first turn. Oh, hang on, Pete. Here comes Gary. <laughs> He's looking good. He's starting to pull. Gary's coming, coming though. Blaze is right behind him. Oh, it's going to be all Pete, I think. Good ride. Good ride, Pete. That was excellent. Let's go to the next one. Let's take a look at the 17 expert main. This is the, uh, this is the final. And then we got Mike uh, Kalatsky in there, Mike King, Eric Carter, Billy Al, Danny Milwee's in there, Lonnie Tatton. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. Glenn Pavosky and James Dean. Let's see how this one rolls. I always like watching the older Ams. Man, up on the line Let's with go. Mike Kiniakis, Mike King, Eric Carter, Billy Al, Danny Milwee, Lonnie Tatton, Glenn Pavlosky, and James Dean for Eagle Snatch. Look for whole shot artist King Let's go. and Milwee. It's Mike's on Haro. He's, He's on the outside. outside. Battling, heading for the big doubles. Up and over. And there's Kenny Ockles King's and got the whole shot. Battling for that third spot. It's still King, our leader for Team Haro out there. Stretching Mike out is the just lead. so smooth. Look at that. Milwee's in second. We've got Pavlosky making a dive. Also, Mike's just King running away. Look at that. It's King stretching down still even further. Mike won the uh, amateur title in ABA this year, and, and he was getting ready to turn pro. Do the same thing in pro. So he was just on another level. Great ride, Mike. Great ride. Let's go to the next. So all the mains <laughs> are in this video. So this is going to be the first, the first pro main. Malin Abrams made it. Todd Blazer's in there. Gary Ellis is in there. Pete Lonkarovich. Uh, looks like Greg uh, Lanthorn, Turnell Henry's in there, Nelson Chanity, and Greg Hill. So let's see how this goes, and I'm just going to hope that all the races are here. <laughs> here we go. Greg Lanthorn, Turnell Henry, Nelson Chanity, and Greg Hill. 12,500 on the line. 12 grand on the line. Let's go. He's got the snap. Greg's looking good on Robinson in second. Ooh, Nelson Chanity in third. What? Let's go, Nelson. Pete's looking good. Oh, he slipped a little, but he had good momentum. He's fine. Good ride, guys. Good ride. Okay, let's hope the rest of them are in there. We're in luck, guys. We got the second main lined up. Let's go for it and see how it goes. Pete's looking really strong. It's going to be tough to beat him today. Swap positions and who comes out on top? Getting ready for a pro main event number three. It's number two on the line now, ready to go. The gate's about to drop. We're watching. We're ready. We're looking at Malin Abrams, Todd Blazer. Let's go. The gate is down. They're off and going. It looks oh, like Ellis. Oh, Pete's got another snap. Greg's in the middle, looking strong. Can he keep Ellis off? Ellis is on the inside. I don't know. Oh, he did. Okay, awesome. from Washington. Greg is just trying to get him with everything he's got. Pete, Greg, Ellis. Looks like Blazer got in there for fourth. Hill coasted a lot right there. Kind of surprising. Oh, he's trying to set him up, but no, can't do it. Pete got the second ace. Greg with another second, though. We're looking really good. Let's go to the next. It's going to be the last one for me tonight because, as usual, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Uh, but this is a pretty good one because Pete's got a good lock on it, but Greg's been looking great. He's He's got two seconds, so Greg's got a shot. I mean, Pete's got to fall a couple positions back, and Greg's got to take it for the overall win. There's a lot of money on the line, 12500 I think they said. But let's see how the third one rolls. Here we go. Pete's got all the pressure on him. But Greg Hill with four points is right on his tail. Pete makes a slip up. Hill's right in there. Gary Ellis, the lumberjack from Washington, in third with seven points. Then comes the blazing Todd Blazer with nine points, who might have a really slight outside. Here we go, guys. Oh, Pete's in the middle, looking good. Blazer got in there. Greg got a little swallowed up in the pack. Oh, oh, Pete got knocked out. Abrams took him. Look at Abrams. 
Let's go, Abrams. Oh, that was awesome. Let's see who won that overall. I'm going to try to figure it out. So overall, if you look at the blue box on the right side, you can see Lonkarevich got the overall win. He picked up 5000 bucks for that win. Uh, you don't see that kind of stuff <laughs> nowadays. Uh, Greg Hill took second. He got $2,500, even though he finished, I want to say he finished third or fourth in that last in that last round, he still held on. Blazer, third overall. He picked up $1,800. And then Abrams took fourth uh, because of that great win at the end. Put him in fourth place. So he got 1000 bucks for that. That was a $1,000 pass. <laughs> All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe as usual. I enjoy doing this one. I'm a bit tired, so I'm going to wrap this one up, get everything edited, and hopefully get this posted by tomorrow. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. I got it. At first it was hard. Nobody believed me. Ever since then, I'm making it clear. This my year. This my year. I hustle in the dark with a bright my head. Get the bright idea.